Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and viewers across the World Wide Web. This is Tune 215. And right now, we're in the state of Mississippi. We're currently in Philadelphia, Mississippi. We're gonna be doing a driving tour of the city of Philadelphia and Mississippi, y'all. It's currently 58 degrees. If you're new to the channel, and you're not aware of what the 215 in tune 215 means that is our area code in philadelphia pa i'm from philadelphia i'm a lifelong resident of philadelphia pennsylvania that is the city of brotherly love where the liberty bell resides and right now we're in mississippi we're about 16 and a half hours away from philadelphia pennsylvania here in Philadelphia, Mississippi. If you read the sign on my right hand side, you can see it says Philadelphia. Y'all see that? We're going to be entering the city uh, limits of Philadelphia very shortly. So I wanted to take you guys on this journey so you can see what another Philadelphia looks like. To my knowledge, I believe Tennessee had a Philadelphia, but I didn't visit it. It wasn't on our course. And we're strictly sticking to a route and we're touching towns and nearby cities that are within our route. Philadelphia happened to be along the way to our route. So yeah, let's check it out. On my right hand side, we have a sign. I'm gonna try to slow down for it. Right there it says, Mississippi Philadelphia welcomes you to our fair city. See that little green sign on my right? Wow, spectacular. Yeah, guys, so we're officially in Philly. Hey, yo, man, listen, the 48 state cross country tour is over. It officially came to an end. I went back to Philly, y'all. <laughs> it's like, nah, I'm kidding. Yo, look, there's a Philadelphia police cop on my left, yo. There's a white charger, yo. They got white chargers here that says Philadelphia police. Look, at there's another one on my left, a white one. You see it? You see it? You see it? It's, it's turning. But it says Philadelphia Police, yo. We're passing several dozen businesses. That seems to be a business trip. We got Sherwin Williams on my right, a Huddle House on my right hand side. We have an AutoZone on my left. We got a The Spot Convenience on my left. We got a Louisiana Popeye's Chicken. We got an Athletic Action on my right. We got a Jax on our left. We definitely don't got those in Philly. Um, we got a Blake Seafood on my right. We got a radio station. We're passing a radio station on my right. The Philadelphia Gun Show, December 4th and 5th. Wow, they got a gun show here. Gas is 303 a gallon at Murphy, USA on my right. We got a Walmart on my right hand side at Philadelphia. Pretty cool, huh? What is gas going for in Philadelphia, PA right now? I don't know what it's going for, so that's why I'm asking. If any of my Philadelphia viewers are watching right now, are in Philadelphia, let me know what it's going for when you guys watch this video. It's 303 right now here in Mississippi, Philadelphia. We got a Taco Bell on my right. We passed the Wendy's. We got a car wash on my left. We got a Hong Kong restaurant on my left-hand side. We got City Limits, Seafood and Steaks on my right, a Dollar Tree on my right, a Hibbit, and so much more. Citizens Bank, or The Citizens Bank, a Philadelphia on my left. Uh, we got a Junction gas station on my left, as well as a Shell gas station. Shell has it for 309 per gallon. We got an All-American Pawn Shop on my right-hand side. We're approaching Lewis Ave. We got an Advanced Auto Parts on my left-hand side. We got a commercial bank on my right hand side. We're passing Lewis Ave, we're on Main Street. We got a Burger King on my left hand side. We have what looks to be like a Hondu Mex, Mexican food on my left hand side. I think we also passed a Philadelphia uh, gun shop. We got the Westland Plaza on my left hand side several businesses we're passing Pearl Ave check it out we got another sign for the Philadelphia gun show on our left a gas company on my right I see a large water tower from afar that reads 
Philadelphia, baby. Why don't we got one of those in Philly? We, I don't think we, 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 we have one of those in the real Philly, in the OG Philly. Because, you know, where I'm from, they signed the Declaration of Independence and all that stuff. At least I think they did. <laughs> we got the Philadelphia Depot on our left. Wow, that's the um, Welcome Center. It welcomes you. Neshoba County Co-op on our right. Little Caesars on our left. Philadelphia High School on our left. Square Peg Mini Mall on our left. I'm gonna make this left hand turn. There's nobody next to us. So I'm gonna merge left ever so casually. We just turn off on Main Street. We got downtown self storage in Philadelphia on my left hand side. All right, so I think we are, are, are we in their downtown? No way. Is this their downtown? Get out of town. Get out of Philadelphia. We're at Line Ave. We got the mixers, wine, spirits, and liquors on my left. We got City Donuts on my left. We got City of Philadelphia, the Depot, Welcome Center. Their thermostat is reading 64 degrees right now in Philadelphia. We got Philly hair and beauty in front of us. Ah, oh, they use Philly. They can't be using Philly. They can't be using Philly like that over here in Mississippi. <laughs> We got the old Mexico, a Mexican restaurant. Um, we're going to, should I go straight? Should I go left? I have so many options, so many places to do activities. I think I'm gonna go straight. I'm gonna go straight and just explore. I'm gonna explore. We're gonna explore today, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna see what um, the area looks like as we do in every tour. Wow, we got a lot of traffic though. There's a lot of traffic and nobody seems to be slowing down. They don't have a stop sign. They don't have a light. So we're gonna have to play Frogger over here and uh, leap, make like a frog and uh, leap, you know? I think I'm gonna leap in about three, two, one. Ah! Yo, they, ow! I guess this Philadelphia and my Philadelphia have the same thing in common, fast drivers. <laughs> Look at Philly Nails and Spa. You got La um, Cocinita, Taqueria, Burritos, Tacos and More, Ashley's Restaurant, Lisa's, Sassy scissors and you got Philly hairstyle and beauty. Cool. All right, let's exit this little plaza. I don't see much of a downtown area though. I'll tell you that much. We got Philadelphia High School around the corner. Let's check out Philadelphia High School. Let's see what that looks like. So they got a Philadelphia High School in Mississippi. We don't even have a Philadelphia High School in Philadelphia. <laughs> we got a bunch of different names of high schools. We got tons and tons of high schools. Tons and tons of middle schools, tons and tons of elementary schools, but we don't have, do we? I don't think so. Cause I know I ain't going to Philadelphia High School. This town probably, I wonder if they have multiple high schools. We'll, we'll talk about some informational stuff shortly. Right now, I just want to take in the environment and see what uh, this, this, this Philadelphia uh, counterpart uh, replica clone looks like. <laughs> so, now there's probably a lot more Philadelphias throughout different states. But this is the first other Philadelphia that I've been in. They also have a Camden, Mississippi here for all of my Camdenarians who are watching my my, my, my fellow brothers and sisters from Camden. Because Camden, there's a Camden, New Jersey. If you're from Camden, Mississippi and you're watching this, there's an actual Camden, New Jersey that's about 15 minutes away from where I'm from in North Philly in Philadelphia. Yo, look it, we're pulling up. Check it out, Vato. We got Philadelphia Public School District Central Office right there in front of us. Oh, this is a no outlet? Are, 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 are we like approaching on private pro property here? I think maybe. Yeah, I think we're on private property, guys. Let me see, is this a block? Can I make it right here? Ah, this is a boring block. I'm a bust a U-turn. Yeah, this is all closed. Anyway, at least y'all got a chance to see Philadelphia School District. The high school, high school district. We got school bus back here. It says Philadelphia Public School Bus. Yo, that's crazy. Ours don't even say that. I swear ours don't. We like we got like yellow bird. We got like um what's the other one? I can't think about it, but we got a whole bunch of um school buses and ah oh, the schools on my right. There's a gymnasium. So we passed the school. Look at right there it says Philadelphia Public School District. <laughs> so I could drive one of them gyms back to Philly, right? And go back on Broad Street and they would think like it belongs to our location, but it don't. That's crazy. Oh, we got the Philadelphia. Yo, I'm about to get y'all. I'm about to get y'all with the behind the scenes. We got the Philadelphia Water Tower right here next to us, up close. 
Yo, this hill is crazy. I had to switch to the first gear, but this is cool. We got a behind the scenes shot going on right here for the Toon Be Chilling YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, we do the driving tours here on Tune 215, which is the frontal view you guys are watching. We also have 360 virtual reality videos here on Tune 215. We got a small playlist with those. You can check that out sometime if you're free. But we do the frontal views here. We have 1,000 plus videos, about 500 plus tours. I got a bunch of other content on my channel that is shot by your boy Tune 215 and edited and directed by me. But, um, most recently, I've been focusing on mapping out and documenting Philadelphia, and I pretty much conquered 90 plus percent of Philadelphia. With that being said, we decided to take our tour across country. We're passing a Sonic on my right, and I'm doing all 48 states. So yeah, you can feel free to subscribe, turn on the notification bell, show some love. If you want to see what Philly Philly look like, if you want to see what Philadelphia PA look like, you can subscribe to my channel and just browse all the Philly videos. I got a narrated playlist with over 235 tours. I have a silent playlist with over 235 tours. All in Philadelphia PA, baby. All right, so that's that depot center that we passed there earlier. We got a bowling and skating alley on, on my right. We got House of Pancakes on my right. They got a House of Pancakes. You know, you know what's our House of Pancakes in Philly? IHOP. International House of Pancakes. IHOP. <laughs> but they literally got one here that says House of Pancakes. Martin Luther King Drive on our right. We could have went there. Tire shop on our right. in Mud Brothers Customs. I think we're going to begin to explore a little bit more of the neighborhoods. I'm going to figure out where the neighborhoods are around here. We're on a high traffic street. This street right here is high traffic. People flying by me, flying behind me. I feel like I'm on 2nd Street. <laughs> like I'm back in Philadelphia and I'm on 2nd Street. Because that's how, I, that's how they drive back home. Um, Hardy, the service center on our right. Alright, so we pretty much just went around the block here. Let's make this left hand turn coming up. See if the people allow me to merge into their lane. Yep, thank you very much. Let's make this left hand turn right here on Lewis Ave. We're gonna come back up Lewis. Yeah, they didn't have much of a much of a downtown going on here, did did they? Or do they? Dun dun dun. Ah, they got a spot right here on my left called American Wings Phillies. And they're using it looks like the Wonder Woman W, almost. Very similar. There's a Philadelphia Marketplace right in front of us. I'm gonna make this left hand turn now. And we're gonna go straight back up here. Oh yeah, the Philadelphia Gun and Pawn. Oh, it's two miles to a better deal. Oh, I knew I saw that, so that was a changing sign. We just passed Pearl on our left, and we have Pearl on our right. We're about to pass Front Ave. We got a front street, we don't got a front Ave. But we do got a front street in Philadelphia. Loaves and Fishes Seafood Restaurant on my right. We didn't notice that last time. See, sometimes you pass by a spot the second time and you notice something else. Mississippi Division of Medicaid on my right. Philadelphia Regional Office. <laughs> Gets me every time. City of Philadelphia. The depot on our left welcome you. So that's the welcome center. I guess if we want to get information, we can go in there with the Christmas wreath. We got Neshoba County Co-op on our right. Santa Toy Shop. Oh, that's that's pretty cool for the kids. Square Peg Mini Mall on our left. All right, let's 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 go a little further. Let's start exploring some of the. I guess this is the downtown area because it says downtown self storage right there. It doesn't look much of it compared to Philly downtown. Yo, I got tours for days that just go around downtown Philly if y'all want to check that out on my page. The Philly flowers and gifts on our right. They got a cool gazebo going on over here on our left. Born Again Bargains on our right. She got really long hair. 
Edwards Electrical Service on the left. Okay, what are we passing? We got Southern Tattoo, Fried Ink on our right. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, wow, people travel on these streets immensely fast. I'm telling you. Um, I almost feel like I'm at home. If I squint my eyes and turn my head sideways, and I smack the back of my head. <laughs> and I say, I wish I was home. I wish I was home. I wish I was home. I almost feel like I'm home. Oh, this looks downtown-y. Okay, I think now we're in their little downtown historic district, yo. All right, bet. We're on Bird Ave. We're on Bird Ave. I'm going to make this left-hand turn. Jeez, Louise. Yeah, we're next to Neshoba County. So I guess Philadelphia is in Neshoba County. We're going to go over some educational stuff soon. But let me get to a more slower-paced street. Citizens Bank on my right. Center Ave. Let's make this up on Center Ave. Check it out. We got shops, boutiques, and all that stuff. Philadelphia Printing and Supply Office on my right. You see how they use that Philadelphia P for the printing word? That was clever. Ah, uh, Philadelphia Lodge, the Masonic Temple on our right. So check this out. We got a Masonic Temple next to our city hall in Philly. So Beacon Street be out. Beacon Street is like like, like, like Second Street. The street we were just, no, matter of fact, the joint we were just on is like Second Street. This is just like Fish Street. They be out, son. We got M. Tissy's on our right. Looks like a cafe and or like a bar. We got City Jewelry Inc. on our left. Oh man, this is an awesome picture. I'm gonna try to snap a picture. Ah, I'm gonna miss this picture. I'm gonna miss this picture. Picture, picture, picture. I snapped it. <laughs> oh, I like the picture. This, this, this right here, Philadelphia. I think I got a good picture. I forgot I'm gonna go around it twice. Round two. Falcon Berry's Bridal on my right. Let me make sure that this picture looks all right. I feel like I want to get another picture. I'm going to go around for a round two. Let's make this left-hand turn on Bird Ave. We got plenty of other. We got a Vintage Revival Mall on our right. So I guess these are like the shops around the square, like most small towns have. We got a theater over there, the Ellis Theater. Man, why is that block closed? That blows. Let's make this left-hand turn. Wow, this, this street's pretty fast paced um i'm gonna make this left i'm sorry guys i know a little bit redundant a little bit played out but let's go around one more time look at edward jones investment see we didn't see that the first time or we did or 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 did you did it to be continued on another episode of two two on five i'm gonna try to take a better portrait you know because i can use this for the youtube feed right here there you go. I'm going to try to take another one. <laughs> I'm, I'm over here bombing. Photo bomb. Right here. Boom. Ooh, I think I got a nice one. I think. I think. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I got to try again. Come on, cars. Get out of my way. You're you're messing up my, my photogenic nature over here. There's stuff that's happening. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, There you go. There you go. Right after this ramp. One, two, three. Action. Beautiful photo. Dang it. I think I got one. That's cool. I'm. Uh, I think I'm gonna take it another one. <laughs> I'm greedy right right now. But we're still at a red light. All right, let's go forward. Oops. Yeah. All right, y'all. All right, so we're passing Beacon. Let's let's go past Beacon. Let's see what's past here. We passed City Jewelry Inc. on our left. We got Spirit Soul and Body Fitness Studio on our left. Let's allow this lady to go. Pass an American Legion. All right. Right now we're passing Oak, Oak Street. We're gonna go into what looks to be like a little residential area over here. I have a vehicle behind me. I think I'm gonna pull over and I'm gonna allow them to go by because I don't want them to rush our tour here. Alright, so looks like this guy's about to come out of the driveway too. It sucks. Alright, so we got an El Camino on my left hand side. Check it out, right next to the Mustang. Check it out. Cool. The guy turned, so I think I could slow down here. El Camino's a bit faded, but the Mustang looks cool. I'll, and the Mustang of Virginia Tanks. I wasn't a big Mustang fan growing up, but I can appreciate that body right there. That 5.0. That was doing that um, vanilla ice said um, uh, driving a, a 5.0. He said, 
said, A A one A Beachfront Avenue. <laughs> ice, ice, baby. I can't think of the lyrics right now, but that's a nice Mustang. If it's stick shift, it's a keeper. If it's automatic, you can keep her. <laughs> Yo. Alright, I think it's about time to learn some educational stuff. Some educational stuff. No, I'm kidding. Some educational stuff about Philadelphia, Mississippi. So Give me a second here, ladies and gentlemen, and viewers of the World Wide Web, my fellow Earthlings. Mini, me, 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 me. So, Philadelphia is a city in the county seat of Neshoba County, Mississippi. The population as of the year 2010 was 7,477 people. Wow, this is a small, small town. The area is about 12.22 miles square. So almost a little under 12 and a half miles square makes up this small town. Now in comparison, um, Philadelphia, I believe is over 140 square miles, Philadelphia PA. Um, they said they had what? 7,000, over little over 7,000 people here. In Philadelphia, we have, I believe, over 1.2 million, give or take roughly. I know it's over a million people. We, we have over a million people in Philly. We have over 100 plus neighborhoods. You understand? Our, where I'm from, our Philadelphia is so big. We got South Philly, Southwest Philly, West Philly, Northwest Philly, North Philly, Northeast Philly, Center City, Philadelphia. And our Center City, Philadelphia is bigger than this right here. Bigger than this entire town. I promise you. So that just goes to show you, but look at these houses. Look at the environment. We have neighborhoods that I would say look, in the Northeast, we have stuff that looks similar to this. So that goes to show you, one of our neighborhoods have homes that look similar to, to this, but uh, and I'm talking about far northeast. I'm not talking about lower northeast. I'm talking about far northeast, like deep northeast. Around Red Line Road and all of that stuff. I wonder if Red Line Road would still be considered um, within city limits. But that's incredible. Such a small town, right? It looks nice so far. There's a house for sale on my right hand side if anybody wants to move to Philly. <coughs> I mean, Mississippi. The address is 2. 283. 283 is for sale. 283 Bird Avenue, Philadelphia, Mississippi. We got a gentleman on my right hand side smoking a cigarette. Ouch, ouch, bumpy. Oh, I feel like fit Philly streets to me. <laughs> I'm kidding, y'all. All right, let me stop it with all the Philly jokes. The zip code here is 39. Three five zero. Wow, they have one zip code. We got dozens and dozens of zip codes. It's obviously local time. Well, it may not be obvious to you in Philly, because if you're in Philly right now watching this from PA, you're Eastern time zone. Right now, I'm in local time zone. If you're watching this from anywhere on the globe, let me know your time zone. Comment your time zone in the comment section. Just you know, say a couple things. Share share some knowledge in the comment section. All comments are greatly appreciated and they help this channel grow. We appreciate you. We love you long time. All right, so let's see. Let's go to another area that is dense. Let's make this right hand turn. I'm trying to go to like dense areas. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to stay within like dense spots. So please bear with me, ladies and gentlemen. There's a sign that reads load limit, 57,650 pounds. church on my right hand side.
passing Myrtle Street. It's the first Baptist church that we just passed. We got Leagues Auto Sales on our left hand side. We got a nice mirror on our right. There is Philadelphia. Holy smoke. All right, so. Hmm. The mayor. Let's see what the mayor is. The mayor here is James Young. That's the mayor here. Look at this. Look at. You see this mirror on my right? The Shoba County Fair. For the they, they they show people dancing at the fair and in the mural. We got a fashion and beauty business on the left. Right, Main Street. Oh, we got City Hall in front of us. Oh snap! Puny, puny little City Hall. I think we came through here, didn't we? I feel, I feel like that we came through here. Uh, unless it's deja vu. Uh, we got First Presbyterian Church on my right hand side. Do you ever have deja vu? We got Cadence on my right. Regions on my left. I think I'm gonna make a right at this corner. We got Deals Discount Store on my right. I feel like I've been seeing Citizens National Banks forever since I've been here. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I've been here. I think we're probably gonna go to another area of Philadelphia. Right, let's make this right hand turn. We had Chris Mont Creations on our left. just passed, what was that, a spirit gas station? I think we got some homes over here on my left and homes on my right. It looks like a nice small town. We got sidewalks lined with grass. We're passing Jefferson. We got a Jefferson Street. Jefferson and North Philly. It runs from, I would, I would, I would say probably like 33rd, right? Jefferson runs the third, to, to 33rd Street. To like Kensington. <sighs> Let's make this left right here. We're on Holland. We just made a left on Welch Street. Perfect. A street slow enough for me to relay some information to you. Sweet. All right. So the area code. You know how ours is two one five. It's two one five if you have a landline, and Philadelphia PA is two one five if you have a landline. It's 267 if you have a cell phone. Here it's 601. So we're now at State Street and we're gonna take a, a, a brief uh, educational break. Oh, we got somebody reversing. They reversing? Yeah, they reversing. Oh, we can't take an educational break just yet because they're reversing out of their driveway. Let's make this left hand turn on State and let's go down Welch. Let's make this right hand turn. Hopefully, he's not coming behind us. Yeah, we got a Benz right here on my right, parked in front of the little garage. Oh, we, we got a Wrangler in front of us. Everybody trying to try to leave Philly. <laughs> Everybody trying to try to leave Philly right about now. So, so slow down, ladies and gentlemen. All right, cool. Philadelphia is incorporated as a municipality. It was given its current name in 1903, two years before the railroad brought new opportunities and prosperity to town. The history of the town and its influences, social, political, and economic, can be seen in many points of interest within the beyond, or within and beyond the city limits. These range from the large ceremonial Indian mound and cave at Nine. Let me, let me pronounce this right. Nine? Yeah, Nine or Nine with an H. N A N I H. Weya. Built approximately 1,700 years ago and sacred to the Choctaw, to the still thriving Williams Brothers store, a true old fashioned general store founded in 1907 and featured in National Geographic in 1937 as a source of anything from horse collars to straw hats. Wow. You can learn more about this on Google, 
via Wikipedia, or you can click the subject box to this video in the description, and I'll list a link if you guys wanna you know, get in depth, because they also talk about the murders of Cheney Goodman and Schwerner, and it gets into uh, a deep, dark past of this part of Philadelphia. I say this part of Philadelphia, like it's my part, but like, you know, we're in Mississippi. Mississippi tends to have a dark past in, in general. So if you guys wanna read more about that, you can read about that. You can learn about Reagan's visit. Um, on August 3rd, 1980, you could learn about the first black mayor. You could learn about the 2011 tornado. Wow. On April 27, 2011, the town and the surrounding areas were ravaged during the 2011 super outbreak when an EF5 tornado and the winds of 205 miles per hour carved the path through the town. Sheesh. All right, we're on Welch and Henley. Let's get off of Welch. Uh, let's make a left-hand turn. Henley. You could admire the houses as we're driving and I'm relaying information. Feel free to admire the environment. Wow. That's incredible. They had a tornado. We've, we've never had a tornado because we're in a city and the big buildings break up. You know, we're in a city. Big buildings, the trees and all that stuff. The dense environment breaks up the wind so our wind gusts don't get that high. 205 miles an hour. That's faster than, than a car. They, that's, that's dangerous. That's ripping up houses and killing anything in its path. If that picks you up, that, that'll that snap your bones and you'll be like a wet body bag of like mush probably. But um, wow. So they had a, 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 a heck of a tornado here. What about the arts and culture here? Gazier Falls Water Theme Park. Oh. So that's nearby. The Gazier Falls Water Theme Park must be nearby. We're at Jefferson Street. Let's make this left-hand turn on Jefferson, or should we make a right? Let's make this right-hand turn on Jefferson. We already made a left. Let's make right. Ah, chick move, but this shoots his left. <laughs> Look, there's a, 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 a siren that shoots his left. Uh, so they got the Gazier Falls Water Theme Park. They got the Silver Star Casino. They got the Neshoba County Fair. They got the Choctaw Indian Fair. And they got the Philadelphia Neshoba County Museum. I'm gonna make this left hand turn. We got a dog in that yard, cool Rottweiler. With a nice classic truck. We got another gentleman over here walking. Greetings, sir, greetings. He he waved and I'm gonna to wave to my to my fellow Philadelphia native. <laughs> education, what type of education they got going on here? Wow. The city of Philadelphia is served by the Philadelphia Public School District. Okay, that sounds about right. They don't seem to have any universities or anything. So I wonder if they got a Philadelphia elementary school, middle school, and, and high school. All right, we got catch a ride used cars on my left hand side we're next to the how agency auto home life businesses shelter insurance on my left hand side on my right hand side we had the neshoba county school district wow this is, a, this is another one right there look at their, their their nc um logo you see it you see it you see it wow all right so trying to figure out trying to take you guys to check out something cool uh, let's go left. Let's go left. But if, if, if I go left, I gotta go left, but it's on one condition. I gotta focus. I gotta focus on the environment. Cause these cars be out here. Listen, they be out. These people will drive just fine in my Philly. <laughs> They'll fit right in. Put them, put them on Broad Street. Look at another police car on my left. Put them on Broad Street. Put them on the Roosevelt Boulevard in Philly. They'll love it. casual chill slow driver like i could drive fast if i have to like i ain't afraid to push the pedal to the metal most of my cars are stick shift like i prefer stick shift if this was stick shift i would love it but uh, stick shift means i go fast go fast so i'm like tyler Dega. fast fast speed speed remember tyler Dega nights with um, with uh, will ferrell go go fast go fast i don't remember what he said but he said something oh look at it look at it, look at it. sign on my right historic <laughs> Downtown Philadelphia, Mississippi. You see the sign, you see the sign. You, you don't believe me? Zoom in, pause, free, freeze frame, Google it, look it. Yeah, I'm here, baby. I'm here, I'm back home. I mean, you know, you know, you know what I mean. That'd be so messed up if 
Toon left Philadelphia, PA and moved to Philadelphia, Mississippi. <laughs> Never. No. Sorry. No. No no can do. No way, Jose. Um, so we just came from, from here. Just came, remember this? this? This little mural right here on my left? I guess that's the problem when you're in a small town. Everything looks damn near the same. <laughs> All right. So we're going past Myrtle. We got that first Baptist church on my left hand side. The only difference is we're, we're gonna make a left coming up. We're passing Oak Street. We're gonna pass Wilson. We got a little playground on my left. We're gonna pass Wilson. Matter of fact, let's make a left on Wilson. Let's stir it up some. Let's make a left on Wilson. I want y'all to see some of the houses too. That's that's what I try to do. I don't only try to like, you know what I mean? I try to like mix it up. Downtown. Especially when it's a small town like this, you could do the downtown and the neighborhood or the whole entire town with damn near within an hour. Alright, so we got a few blocks over here that we could check out. So media, <laughs> what do they got going on for media down here? The Neshoba Democrat is published in Philadelphia. It is a weekly newspaper that was established in 1881. Sheesh, 1881, that's incredible. That's a really old, what is that, a newspaper? Sheesh, that's old. are currently on what's this bird ave we're on bird ave let me drive a little slower so now the next question is there any notable people who came from here someone notable let's figure that out shortly we got houses with vinyl siding, aluminum rooftops, shingle rooftops, street side mailboxes, front lawns. This is that house that's for sale on my right hand side. You remember, remember where the guy was smoking across the street on my right? We, we made a right, now we're gonna make a left. You see, I told you that I was gonna mix it up. Now we're gonna make a left. We're currently on, what's this? How would you say that? This is Re Street or Rhea? R E A? Re? To me, the A is silent. I just say Re. We got Philadelphia Animal Control on my right hand side. Check it out. Yeah, we are on Re. Re and Fox. We just passed Fox Ave. Let me pull, pull over. I got a vehicle behind me. Meanwhile, y'all can stare at this Philadelphia Animal Control sign and Philadelphia Animal Control vehicle. The people just beeped at me. They just beeped at me. Do they not know where I'm from? I'm from Philly and I'm not from, from, from this Philly. <laughs> Yeah, like that's just I'm just having like a like a like a brain. Um, what's that called? It's, just, it's like I don't I don't want to use the profane language, but just say my mind is still blown. <laughs> it's called a brain duck. Ouch! A brain duck. You uh, you could replace the D with a with a not so friendly letter. I'm brain duck right now. over this uh, railroad track. I guess this is the railroad track you were talking about earlier. No truck, so we're gonna go forward. All right, look, we got a abandoned house on my right. We got, what's this, another abandoned, another abandoned house on my right. Oh, snap. We got a house on my right that looks like it's lived in. Make this right hand turn on Bell. We're on Rhea and Bell. We just turned off of Rhea. Now we're on Bell Ave. This is an avenue. This is what they consider an avenue. This is more like a street to me than an avenue. So notable people. 
You got Adam Monroe Bird, U.S. Congressman and practicing lawyer in Philadelphia, Mississippi. You got Billy Cannon, college and pro football player, 1959 Heisman Trophy winner. You got Turner Catledge, former editor-in-chief for the Chicago Sun. You got Marcus Dupree, who was a football player in the NFL and USFL, also known for building the Mount Nebo Baptist Church in Philadelphia. You got subject of the best that never was an episode of ESPN uh, 30 for 30 series. That's the dude, um, Marcus Dupree. You got Bob Ferguson, RCA Victor record producer and songwriter known for his song On the Wings of a Dove that was recorded first by Ferlin Husky in the early 1960s. Let's make this left hand turn. Let's turn left and we have Goodway Missionary Church right here on my right hand side. We're currently on Atkins Street. Atkins. I'm going to turn on the air just so we can do a little bit of fresh air in here because it's kind of hot with four sets of lungs <laughs> we're in a little teeny weeny car with four sets of lungs i'm gonna make this right hand turn we got exhibit head start shaping the future on our left that was uh an early childcare center we're on carver ave right now carver ave we got mick clelands cafe and grow on our right we got a gentleman that was casually walking to the corner. We got Carver Avenue ND Church on our right hand side. We're at Davis and Carver. I am going to make a right hand turn. Let's make a right hand turn and see what this block looks like. We got a gentleman over here in a large jumper and a red shirt. I noticed there was several people wearing red over here. There was a lot of people that was wearing red. And it's interesting because red's one of my favorite colors. And I'm from Philly. And they from Philly. <laughs> so, I guess Philadelphia's got something in common, huh? We're now at Railroad Ave. I guess that's what the R&R &R stood for. RR, -R, remember? Earlier I was saying RR, matey. That's because it's Railroad. Railroad Ave. We literally got a railroad right here next to us on my right hand side. All right, so let's go back over notable people. Let's make this left hand turn. We're now on Adams Street, Adams and Railroad Ave. You got Stan Frazier, who was a professional wrestler, better known as Uncle Elmer. You got Michaels Wilson Hardy, country music singer, songwriter that goes by the name Hardy. You got Iris Kelso, who's a journalist. You got Philip Martin, chief of Mississippi Band of Choctaw Indians. Fred McAfee, a player for the New Orleans Saints and the Pittsburgh Steelers, director of player development for the Saints. You got Joe H. Mulholland, lawyer and Mississippi State Senator. You got Layla, Miles Perry, painter and artist. You got Earl S. Richardson, longtime Mississippi State legislator. You got Otis Rush. Wow, Otis Rush. We're at Carver and Adams. We got Mount Nebo Missionary Baptist Church. That's what we passed on the left. I don't listen to Otis Rush's music. I'm not gonna pretend like I listen to his music, but I have heard his name in music history. So it's interesting to find out that he comes from here. We're passing Carver Ave. It looks like we have what appears to be like a little apartment complex on my right hand side. I'm not sure if it's a housing pro you know, project or something of that nature. But what's interesting is if it would be a housing project, then would it be the PHA, Philadelphia Housing Authority, like we have in Philly? Because we have a, 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 a PHA in Philly, which is the Philadelphia Housing Authority. So if they have a housing authority here, this looks like apartments. I wonder if it would have the same abbreviation. You know what I mean? Does that make any sense? And then last but not least, after Mr. Otis Rush, you have Marty Stewart, who is a country music entertainer and grand old Opry star. That's neat. It's pretty cool. So 
So we're gonna make this left hand turn coming up. We turn left here. We are currently on Northwest Street. Northwest. We came off of A Ave and Northwest. Directly in front of us, it says it's a dead end. We're now at Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Drive. I can make a right or I can make a left. Yeah, directly in front of us is a dead end. I see it. All right, let's make this right hand turn. So do they have any fun things to, to do here? Like, what is fun here? What are the, you know, top things to do? So let's look at TripAdvisor. TripAdvisor. Let's make sure that this is the correct Philadelphia that they got going on here. <laughs> that is not Philadelphia, PA. All right, I got a vehicle behind me. Let me pull over. Pull over to the side of the road. So we're in the parking lot of Jerusalem Temple Church. I'm gonna slow down here. We got Golden Moon Casino. We got Silver Star Casino. We got Williams Brothers Specialty Gift Shop. We got Kademi, which is another specialty gift shop. We got the Spy Silver Star. So pretty much spies, some gift shops, and casinos are top on, on their list. So gambling, basically. Well, if you're watching and you're from Philadelphia, Mississippi, you should visit Philadelphia, PA sometime because we got dozens and dozens of things to do, including casinos. So if casinos is your thing, we got casinos, but we got like museums of all sorts. Uh, we got adult museums, we got children's museums, we got nightlife, clubs, bars, restaurants, we got eateries, bowling alleys, skating rinks. Um, we got tons of, we, we got drugs, say no. <laughs> We, I'm sure they got that all over America, but we had two homies on the right that was talking. But um, yeah, we got we got plenty of um, extracurricular activities for all types of people. And we got a lot of historical value, you know what I mean? So if you're into learning about the history of Philadelphia, you can visit Philadelphia, PA. I highly recommend it. We got a cemetery on my right-hand side. I got a car behind me, so. I gotta stay at a relatively steady pace. We're at North Carver Ave. I'm gonna make this left hand turn on North Carver Ave. Leon Backstrom Drive is on my right. That's, that's where the cemetery is at. All right, so we got three blocks here. We're currently on Coleman Street. Now, right next to Coleman Street, you got Barham Street and Austin Street. These are all three dead ends, but they all connect to each other through Donald Ave. So we're gonna continue going forward, passing Northwest Philadelphia Apartments on my left. Yo, son. So this is Northwest Philly over here in Mississippi. That's one thing that we don't have in our part of Philly. You see on their, their driveways, you see how under the driveway, there's like a reservoir, there's like a tunnel, that's for water runoff. Yeah, we don't have that, especially not in our Northwest. We got sewers at the end of the streets. <laughs> the water runs down to the sewer and that's about it. So we're at Donald Ave. Remember I said that they're all three connected by Donald Ave. So these are all three no outlets, but Let's take you through here anyway so you can see what it looks like. I'm gonna make this right hand turn. I 
gonna make this right hand turn here. We got a gentleman over here looking at the vehicle. Probably never seen one of these in this part of Philadelphia before. We are currently on Barham Street. The next street will be Austin Street, but we're currently on Barham. We're gonna make a left at the corner and come down Austin. And we'll probably have to come up one of these blocks again, but I'll probably pick the first one, Col Coleman. We're on Barham Street. You can see the houses. The houses are brick. They're one story. They got driveways and all that stuff. This is the 400 block of Barham. They got yards, bricks with, um, some of them got aluminum rooftops, some of them got uh, shingle rooftops. It doesn't look like there's any street side parking. You park on your lawn, or you park next to your lawn. looks cool. There was a motorcycle on my left that was stripped down. So, is Philadelphia, Mississippi safe? Some of you guys may be curious. So, Philadelphia, Mississippi's crime analytics based on Google. With a crime rate of 41 per 1,000 residents. Oops, I got a car behind me. Let me make this left hand turn. We're going to go to Austin. Check out the house on my right hand side. Double car garage. Nice wooden fence. They got a horse. Holy smokes. We got horses in Philly too, though. <laughs> we got hood horses. We're awesome. Remember that red vehicle that we saw earlier? The guy was looking at the vehicle. Well, we see him again. So he's going to get to see us twice. <coughs> We're currently on Austin. This is the 400 block of Austin. And yeah, we got horses in Philly. We got hood ho ho horses. There, There's like, um, <coughs> I would say, like a hood um, farm or two, like the Concrete Cowboys. If you're if you're from Mississippi, Philadelphia, Mississippi, you can watch the movie Concrete Cowboy or Concrete Cowboys. It doesn't show the whole entire Philly. It just shows one little teeny weeny small segment of one neighborhood, which is really big, Strawberry Mansion. It's a big neighborhood, but um, it, it it shows. I think Strawberry Mansion might be the size of this this city here. That's just one neighborhood in Philly. This is roughly estimated, but that movie is based off of some concrete cowboys, some hood cowboys, and they still got that, uh, what's that, barn to this day. And we got other um, places with horses, like the people who have the carriages, that they walk carriages through Old City and through the historic parts of my Philadelphia. It's not mine, I don't own it, but I'm from, you know, Philadelphia, PA. That's, you know, it's some metaphors, hypothetically speaking. You know, it's like, you know, just the same. But, um, yeah, they got those horses, too. Different horse. I keep forgetting the name of it. It's not a horse barn. It's not a horse kettle. It's, what is it called? There's a term for it. We're at Donald Ave in Austin. On my right, it's a dead end. I want to make a left-hand turn, though. We're um, back on Donald Ave. I'm going to take a straight down to the last block and then make a left. And then we're going to leave this whole little cluster. I can't think of that term right this second where you keep horses at. It's not a horse farm. It's not a horse barn. It's not a horse kettle. A stable. There you go. Thank you very much. Horse stable. So we we got a bunch of them in the city. But. So anyway, the crime over here in Philadelphia, Mississippi. Let's make this left on Coleman Street. We already saw this block. So the crime in Philadelphia, Mississippi, with a crime rate of 41 per 1,000 residents, Philadelphia has one of the highest crime rates in America compared to all communities of all sizes, from the smallest towns to the very largest. Okay, 41 per 1,000. Now, I don't know the crime rate of my own city. You guys could probably Google it for me and drop it in the comment section of Philadelphia PA's um, rate. But I know 
In the year 2006, unfortunately, we got crowned the city of Philadelphia. We got a really high crime rate. When I left Philadelphia, the body count was a little over 300. And I left in September. Right now, we probably close to 400. Are we close to 400? Or are we over 400? We're over 400? All right, that's not surprising. Because there's been several other years where our body count was like four or five hundred i think one year we were close to 600 i'm not sure but yeah we unfortunately where i'm from in philly we pe people die every day um people get gunned down on a regular basis some weekends it's like 15 people get shot 20 people get shot um people get stabbed shot robbed beaten bludgeoned um yeah we're the city of brotherly love but sometimes there is no love um i hate to say it that that way I come from a cold city, in a sense. This city appears to be relatively peaceful for the most part, but looks maybe deceiving. So I don't want to downplay this Philadelphia, you know? I try not to downplay every city that we go in because we don't know what it's like. We only visiting for one session, one driving tour. You know, sometimes the places have their own um, personalities and, 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 and souls, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna make this right hand turn and we're gonna go drive right past this the cemetery on my left hand side. I, I don't wanna go through a cemetery that's, I don't know, that's not a sight to see, especially on the subject matter that we're talking about. And yeah, we're not gonna tour the, cem the cemetery. We're passing Griffin Street. Did I ever go through, through, through Griffin? I don't think, no, Griffin's in no outlet. That's why I didn't go through Griffin. But um, yeah, so, this this is this has been an in, interesting little drive, you know, coming from Philadelphia, PA to Philadelphia, MS. That's that's the the, the little abbreviation here. PA is Pennsylvania, MS is Mississippi. It's been interesting. I, I haven't seen the whole entire town of Philadelphia, um, Mississippi, but I think we, we 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 covered a good amount of it within an hour. It looks like you can probably do this whole city in maybe two or three hours, maybe. But I'm not gonna be here for two or three hours. We, we, we were just passing. We're on Martin Luther King Jr. Drive, I'm sorry guys. We were just passing, look, we got a cyclist on our right hand side pedaling, probably heading home from work or something. Um, yeah, we're, we're just passing through, you know what I mean? We got a little trailer park on my left hand side. <laughs> I, I was just curious. I just wanted to know what it what it would it look like, you know. I know a lot of towns have Philadelphia Street, Philadelphia. You know, there there might be another Philadelphia city in another um, state like it is in Tennessee. Um, but I just had to check check it out. It was like, you know, it it struck my curiosity. It's definitely a suburban country, Philadelphia, compared to. I'm from this. This is called the city of Philadelphia, right? Where I'm from is actually a city city, like with row homes and everything. And I'm sure if you're a regular viewer, you got Gills Cafe across the street on my left hand side. I'm sure if you're a regular viewer and you already know my content, then you know where I'm from. And this is just, I'm preaching to the choir here. But I'm speaking in third person because you never know. Somebody from Mississippi, Philadelphia might actually watch this video right here. Let's, let's make this left hand turn. We got the Way of Christ Apostolic Church on my right. We're turning on Davis. Um, you never know. Somebody from this part of, of Mississippi is watching and curious. And probably, you, you never know. It might be a youngster that never knew there was another Philadelphia. You, you might have somebody 15, 16, 17 watching this on YouTube from Philadelphia, Mississippi. They might say, what? There's another Philadelphia? And might see a whole new world. Like, you know, like, like, like the Aladdin. It's a whole new world. Oh, oh, oh that little mermaid or that was some whole other song but anyway they might f oh there's an abandoned house right here this this john mango all right so I'm, so this is gonna be the last so I, so so i'm gonna drop some some philadelphia pa slang on your philadelphia ms natives and if you know you watch this you can learn this word this is a philadelphia word it's in the dictionary you can look in the dictionary you can google this this word you can watch it. i have a whole vlog one of my old vlogs about the word john so you, you can literally Learn about this word, but this is a Philadelphia PA word. John means just about everything and everything. Look at that stop sign. Look at that John. Look, look at that house on my left hand side. Look at that John. 
We driving on this joint right now. We driving on the street, but I'm operating a joint right now. I'm operating a car. I'm I'm hungry, so I'm thinking about eating a John. I'm thinking about eating a sandwich. John can mean just about everything and anything. There's a girl across the street. Look, look at that John. She got on some high heels. There's a bull or there's a homie across the street looking at you. What? No, I don't think you say why that John over there looking at me. <laughs> but he about to get rocked in his John. He about to get socked in his jaw. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, J-A-W-N. That's a Philadelphia PA slang word. You can feel free to use it. Don't abuse it. Remember who put you on down here in Mississippi? In Mississippi, if y'all sit here and start talking about that John, and y'all be like, go inside a corn store, can I get three of them Johns? <laughs> Remember, 2215, share that info with you. All right, guys, unfortunately, we just reached our one hour mark. If you're new to the channel, I try to keep the tours at one hour long for viewer retention and file management purposes. Consider subscribing, turning on the notification bell. Show some love to your boy, Tooney Magoon. Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know a slang word from over here in Mississippi. If y'all got different slang over here in, in, in Mississippi, put, put, put me on to something. Put me on to something new. So I could probably use that down home. <laughs> Say now, nah, but. All right, y'all. This is your homeboy, Toon, Toonie Magoonie. Please consider smashing that thumbs up button. My name is Toon, Toon Dollars, Toon 215. And the 215 is for Philadelphia, PA. Remember that. Right now, y'all could call me Mississippi, Philadelphia Toon. <laughs> and I'm tuning out. Y'all know Toon be chilling.